What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing the preview of the game between Norwich City and Manchester City in the Premier League. Taking place on Saturday the 12th of February 2022 from Carrow Road it is Norwich City taking on Manchester City with a 5.30pm GMT kickoff time. Anybody going to the game do make sure you do enjoy yourselves and if you're wanting to watch this game in the UK then the game is live on Sky Sports but before I do crack on with this video make sure like always if you are enjoying the content you want to help to support my channel then do subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on aiming now for 25k subscribers we're very close now to 22.2k subscribers so any help towards that would be much appreciated also don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below with your score and team prediction for this game go and check out my social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries and also don't forget to leave a thumbs up as well if you did enjoy this video 100 likes once more that is the aim so any help towards that would be fantastic anyway let's crack on with this preview and like always let's speak about our opposition first Norwich City currently sitting 18th in the Premier League that is a relegation spot however just one point behind Newcastle in 17th place all to play for plenty of points available from now until the end of the season there's lots of teams really in that bottom half of the Premier League that can you know, definitely be dragged into a relegation scrap should teams at the bottom start to find their form and so Norwich will be thinking they can get three points then that would be a massive three points for them towards potential safety in the Premier League I think a point would also be a cracking result for them as well they're at a point of the season now where all points matter. Uh, they'll be looking at this game as a free hit. So if they get anything from this Manchester City game, then that will be a massive bonus. Of course, they're going to have a lot of six points coming, uh, six point games coming up with teams around them where if they're playing them, they realistically can't afford to be losing them and need to win a few as well. And they're the games that will help them to either stay up or be relegated should it come to that. This game against Manchester City, well, quite frankly, they're not going to be relegated if they do get relegated at the end of the season because of results against Manchester City. It'll be because of results against teams around them. Uh, so, like I said, it's a bit of a free hit, this one, for Norwich. And also, uh, takes the pressure off them as well in a, well, a high-pressure situation. So... We'll see. So with Manchester City, though, in the return game back in August, Man City did beat Norwich uh, that day 5-0. They allowed them way too much space that day, particularly from the off. They really struggled from minute one, and they need to be tighter in this game. Under new management now, of course. Um, so we'll have to see what uh, direction uh, they do end up going in here. Norwich, I've got a feeling they're going to uh, be setting to restrict Manchester City, limit the space and look to try and hurt us on the counter-attack. They've got Dean Smith in charge at Norwich City. So it'll be interesting to see their approach, but I'm expecting them to sit very tightly, limit the space, limit the opportunities that City can create. And so what I'm getting at is Manchester City, like always with all Premier League games, particularly away from home more than ever, we need to be clinical in front of goal. We wasn't against Southampton in our last away game in the Premier League. We dropped points and we don't want that to happen in this game uh, as well. Now Norwich, they're just starting to find their feet. Unbeaten in the last four games in all competitions. Uh, they would won their last three games in all comps up until uh, dropping points in midweek at home against Crystal Palace, which finished one all. Uh, but this is a big test for them. They've got a couple of big, big free hits for them. Uh, but... Uh, they're just starting to find their feet and get the momentum. The last thing they want to do is get a point behind Newcastle or whomever is going to be in 17th place and then a defeat against City and then a defeat against uh, Liverpool, who is their next game, and all of a sudden could find themselves four or five points uh, into the relegation zone. So these are a couple of really big tests for Norwich City, where ideally speaking, uh, they'll be wanting some points and realistically they'll be thinking if they're at home, they'll fancy that they're more likely to get something at Carrow Road against City than they would away at Anfield. But... Who knows, pressure's a funny thing and pressure, I'll tell you right now, is on Manchester City and Liverpool for them games against Norwich rather than Norwich. But as the season goes on, that pressure will start to uh, be squeezed upon uh, with Norwich City. Now, in terms of dangers for this game, Timu Pukki, the goal scorer, 
We need to make sure we're limiting his space. He's decent in front of goal. He knows where the back of the net is. And that's what City really do need to be careful of. Looking elsewhere in their team, former Manchester City man Angus Gunn. I've always rated him. I think he's a top quality uh, quality goalkeeper. Uh, he started against Crystal Palace and could well start in this game as well. It'd be nice to see Angus Gunn uh, playing. Uh, even if it is against us, it'll be nice to see him um, playing in goal for Norwich for this game. Max Aaron's right back. I rate him. I think he's quality. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how he does going up against Manchester City's quality attack. Could see other young players like Billy Gilmore potentially uh, featuring in this game. I'm wondering, are they going to go two up top? And if that's the case, it could well be Adam Ida's uh, partner in Timu Pukki. I've got a feeling they're going to go with an extra midfielder because they don't want to be overran by Manchester City's midfield. The last thing you want to do when playing against City's position possession based football is allowing us a lot of space to be able to just pass it around the team and that's what Norwich need to try and eliminate and so for that reason I've got a feeling that Norwich are going to go with an extra midfielder and look to really uh, well tighten things up in the, in the middle of the park. Now for Manchester City uh, won our last two games in all competition were unbeaten in the Premier League in 14 games with a record that shows 13 wins and one draw were in great form it means City now sits in first place Liverpool are nearest dangers. They're playing Burnley away on Sunday. And so, uh, yeah, there's a chance here for Manchester City to get their points tally up and put more pressure onto Liverpool as City go first this weekend. We'll have to see what happens with regards to them at results. Now, in terms of players being absent for City, Gabriel Jesus and Cole Palmer are the two main absentees for Manchester City. And I'm not expecting them to be featuring in this game as well. I'm wondering, uh, will City have Sporting CP on their mind? We've got Champions League action for the first leg last 16 clash away from home on Tuesday evening. I'm wondering if City might be tempted just to do a bit of rotation for uh, for the team. And so that means players that have started against Fulham in the FA Cup last weekend and has started against Brentford at home also in midweek. Some of them players may well be given rest. So these are players like John Stones, De Bruyne, Riyad Mahrez, Phil Foden and Xiao Cancelo. How do we make that work? That is the question. And I'm wondering if Stones is given the nod. Will we see him go on the right-hand side once more? Uh, or not. I've got a feeling John Stone's going to play a big feature uh, along with a Merrick Laporte for the Champions League for Manchester City. So we may see one, maybe both players potentially rested in this game so they're fit and ready to go for the Champions League. But City's got a nice big squad to be able to cope with these problems. So I'm going to pop up my team prediction now for you. I'm going for Edison in goal. Kyle Walker suspended for the Sporting CP match. So I reckon he'll start in this game. Him to start at right back. I'm going for Zinchenko going in at left back and a rest for Xiao Cancelo put him on the bench and if we need to bring him on bring him on in the second half I'm going for Diaz and Laporte to be our centre back pairing for this game I wouldn't rule out uh, the potential of seeing uh, Ruben Diaz and Nathan Ake starting in this game like I said if we do want to give Stones and Laporte a rest to make sure that they're ready to go should they need to slot in either at right back or left back respectively. Uh, also, you've got Rodri I'm going for as my holding midfielder for this game. I'm going for De Bruyne to be given a rest. So it's a nod for Ilkay Gundogan. Doesn't seem to be getting too many starts for City as of late. So I'm going for him to get a start and uh, starting alongside Bernardo Silva. I'm going for Raheem Sterling starting on the right wing. Jack Grealish on the left wing and Phil Foden going through the middle. So that's rest for De Bruyne, uh, Cancelo, Mares and Stones. All of them players I would expect to see starting in the game against Sporting CP but we'll see now in terms of this game I'm expecting City to see a lot of the ball dominating the possession I, I can see Norwich being more cautious in this game than what they were back in August sitting tight restricting Manchester City and limiting that space which does mean that Manchester City need to be clinical uh, I don't think because of that that this will be a very good game. I'm going for Manchester City to win this game by one goal to nil. Uh, and I'm going for a goal to come in the second half. We're at a point in the season now where all that matters to City is three points and then just move on to the next game. And to me, this is where Manchester City are at their very best. We're like a well-oiled machine, almost robotic. It's just so, so effective in a marathon like the Premier League because it can mean that Manchester City can almost start to preserve energy. They get the first goal, they're capable of keeping clean sheets and City can be completely relentless when they want to be. It's so difficult to prepare for because City can play in so many different systems with so many players being versatile and able to play in different roles. So 
it, yeah, I, I, it, I think Manchester City, I can see Manchester City uh, dominating this game, getting that goal, because I think we've got enough quality about us to see at least uh, getting a goal in this game over 90 minutes. I'm going for 1-0 to Manchester City. So with that in mind, my betting tip, I'm going for Manchester City to win this game by one goal. And my prediction is Bernardo Silva to score any time. That's if he starts. Like always, do wait until the teams are announced. And if you are going to gamble, make sure you do gamble responsibly. On a last note, outside bet, Norwich City. They're 18 to 1 to beat Manchester City on their own patch at Carrow Road. So if you're in a longer punt and you fancy that City might be upset in this game, then that's always available for you guys. But there we are. Uh, the game is live, like I said, on Sky Sports. If you wanted to watch this game in the United Kingdom, anyone going to the game, do make sure you have fun and enjoy yourselves. Unfortunately, I won't be doing a live watch along for this game. I'm going to be doing some filming over on my JSGC football channel. If you haven't gone and checked that out and subscribed over there, then I would appreciate that. Doing some filming for that this weekend, which will be up at some point this weekend for a video for you guys to enjoy. Do stay tuned. Do keep that in mind. And do go and check out my other channels if you so wish. But like I said, no live watch along for uh, this weekend game against Norwich City away from home. But I will be back for Sporting CP on Tuesday. Videos are going to be limited, but I'm going to try my best to keep disruption to a minimal for you guys to enjoy so there we go that's been the video hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video make sure that you do subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on 25k subscribers that's the aim to only help towards that would be much appreciated also don't forget as well to leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video 100 likes that's the aim any help towards that would be brilliant also leave your thoughts in the comments below your score and team prediction for this game in the comments please that would be much appreciated and also don't forget to as well my social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries and i'll see you guys again real soon for the next football in manchester city video so i've been jsgc thank you everyone for watching i hope everyone is safe and well peace ciao for now